Hey, what's up everyone? It's Rinku, and today we're picking up right from the last episode, and we're gonna go fight the Man of Steel. Looks like everyone's finally gone, so I'm just gonna click this, and we're gonna go a few, a few steps further, and we're gonna click this again. And, yeah, so we're continuing the road to the Pen General Belt. Cannot wait. I haven't chanted anything, but it would be at duo, I guess, right now. We're going for the third... Third, whatever this thing is, fierce fighting spirit stone. So, yeah, I said I said like frontal attacks don't do anything to this guy. Hopefully, I remember how to attack the Valkyrie. Should be pretty simple though. Even though I have no cooldowns or any skills at all, because my UI is still fucked up. Oh man. Let me just do that. Let me just get around him and do that. I should take him out. Maybe? Fuck, he's blocking everything in the front. So I guess basically from the front he can block anything and everything. I don't know if his block ever breaks, but I think it was intended like it doesn't or something. So, pretty simple though. And I only have 180 AP on this character. Didn't even have a chest piece on just because I don't want to look at my broken chest piece. But, yeah, that's pretty simple. You're not going to have trouble with it, probably. What? What is this? What? You can be flagging here? That dude's like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the- why is he attacking me? Hello? <laughs> we don't have any decks, so you're just negative. What? What? Why you- <laughs> He doesn't know. What the fuck does that mean? Alright, well, I tried helping the guy. He doesn't know what to do, and he's just punching me, so... I have to talk to this dude. And... Then I have to go back to Kona. So, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and leave peacefully. And we're back to talk to this dude again. So, let's see what he has to say now. We've, we've killed the Man of Steel. One of the Steel Brothers. Arena of Death. Win against Man of Steel and Man of Fortitude. Who the fuck is Man of Fortitude? I did not see that dude running around. So, how do how does this happen? I go in here and then okay, is he gonna give me like two scrolls or something, or is there just one battle agreement needed? Okay, okay, he gives me a thing. So we're gonna we're gonna oh man I didn't expect it to get harder I don't even have pots or anything we're just going in here probably shouldn't have used my heal right away but let's just let's just get in here and uh, try to do some shit so we got oh okay they do definitely spawn at the same time also I think someone else is summoning them or who what the fuck is that third thing is that third thing on my team what the f wait what's happening so there's two man of steels. And there's Kunga. So Kunga, I think, is on my side. Let me just not let him die really quick. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is he invincible or is he gonna die? It'd be interesting to see. I mean, I let them, like, fight for quite a bit of time. But now I'm pulling some aggro here, it looks like. They stun me? They don't do too much damage. 186 DP. It's a good test since I don't have my chest piece on. So anyone with, like, even, like, basic gear would is, would probably not take much damage from this at all. Pretty simple. We have this fucking red dude. Why is he following me? Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> How the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, let's just ignore this dude. So we're gonna talk to this dude. We're gonna continue on. And, uh, Arena of Death 2. And then... And then... And then what? We talk to him again? I'll agree what needed. Oh my gosh, let me help this dude in need. Okay, I think I helped the dude. I, I, maybe he didn't know that there was a scroll or something. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna click the scroll, and we're gonna kill it. Maybe I'll get stuck in like two minutes and be asking him for help or something. Um, looks like he's doing it too, though. <laughs> so what is this gonna summon? Just this dude? This thing? That's like the Gahazali, right? I can kill this thing. Okay, not my Valak. Hold, wait, I... Oh god. I mean, it's probably easier. You're just gonna teleport all the time? Yeah, 
Okay, well this is a little bit of a challenge. This is a little bit of a challenge. Where the fuck are you going? It likes to just randomly teleport, and it's kind of annoying because I can, even though I don't see other people fighting this boss, I see them fighting the other bosses. Like, yeah, it's not helpful. I thought it was gonna zone me out, but it, it didn't zone me out of everyone. So it's almost dead though. It once again, I didn't need much gear. Like, I could like transfer a lot of gear over if I if I needed to, and I might need to for uh, some future things we have coming up. But uh, this one was pretty simple. So we're gonna go turn this in. A lot of people are doing this, and there is- I don't know why everyone turns red in this room. Um, but yeah, there is an event for this right now where if you do- if you get the pen accessory, you get one- or a hundred people of everyone that does it, so if thousands of people do it, you'll have like a pretty small chance, but you may get, I think, like ten dollars worth of pearls. That's the only like event thing, though. These accessories will last forever, the quest and game will last forever, it's only the pearls from the event, which will not last forever. Once they choose 100 people for the pearls, that's gone, but I don't expect to win that. I expect tons of people to be doing this, as you can see. Um, but what am I supposed to be doing? I probably need to... I see, that's exactly what he probably did. He probably went out here, tried to fight people, and then realized he needed to get the scroll. So you talk to this guy, get the scroll, and then you go click the scroll. This is the final battle. I thought we were actually over after that, but this apparently is the final battle. Maybe it's all of them at once? Not too sure. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Is Kunga on my side, though? Kunga's on my side. Hell yeah. I think. Right? Are you, are you on my side? You can't hurt me, right? Go over there. Prove it to me. Yeah, hell yeah. And... Wait, the god of fight is my buddy? So this is even easier. Because the... I think the elite's on my side. I mean, I don't think the Man of Steel, or either of the Steel Brothers is getting harder at all, so... Can't call the other dude by his name, because it's just the Steel Brothers. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm getting, like, attacked by... I don't think... Well, I don't know. I just see other effects on the ground. I feel like this witch is fucking me up, but she's not. I don't think they're hurting mine either. I don't know if they're attacking their own bosses, or if they're just crazy. Now I have to fight the red- okay, I don't know, dude. I think I had two buddies and we were fighting through three at once. Like, I thought this was on my side, though. I could have sworn that it said, uh, Red Shadow Buddy. Huh, I don't know anymore, but there's too much shit going around, there's too many people doing it, that's fine. We're almost done, if I can just kill this dude. And there it is. That was the final battle. So next we have to go all the way up there once again and see what he wants us to do. Alright, time to see if that really was the final battle. So we're gonna talk to him, do another quest, Legendary Fighter. Um, we get a box for that, talk to whatever to get my reward, hell yeah. So we're gonna get on this horse, that's not the horse. We're gonna, we're gonna try and, try and get on the horse, there we go. I hopefully just jump that and then do a U-turn and then Alright, I'm leaving this in because he's right there. Like I don't know why I'm having such trouble to like ride a horse today, but we're gonna talk to this dude and get our reward. Let's talk to him. I must have been made by a true artisan. There's no curse on it or anything, so use it as you like. Black Abyssal Weapon Box. Obtain to family. I don't I don't think you should use that on this character. What? It's bound to family. I don't know if I'm gonna open that right now, but like, that's a thing. I'll figure I'll figure out where, when, or why I'm gonna open that and do that some other time in the future. Uh, but for now, I'm actually just gonna leave the box there. But that means finally we get fierce fighting spirit stone. I think that's what it was called. I think that's what it's called. So, unstoppable thirst for power three. This, I think, is the annoying one. Alright, complete Black Spirit Quest, Sample of the Living. So basically, the new Monty Stones that just came out, we basically have to test four different ones of them, and I think it's like multiple per area, too. Like, it's it's a lot, I think. So, 
basically it's just a lot of grinding video wise for you guys i'll just go to each spot and like point out when i start and finish but for me it's gonna take me a long time to grind through that i feel like and i guess i'm gonna do it with my valkyrie if i'm gonna do it today so yeah sample of the living basham and then we have kadri and then we have naga and then we have fogan and what what do these quests need me to do? They want me to do uh, my thing is like let me just drag it down a little bit. That might help. Um, you can buy the Morning Stone. Blah blah blah. Kill and complete. I heard you need four stones per thing, but I'm not too sure. I don't know if that was just pulled out of my ass. So we'll see what we actually have to do. But uh, quest reward. You might have to like buy one and then it keeps giving you another one and like the and it chain continues. I don't know, but the first way we'll test it all is probably at Basham's. I would assume. Maybe not. We'll, we'll see where I end up in the next clip. Before we get to grinding in the desert for probably several hours, possibly not even one sitting, I haven't decided yet. Uh, we of course need to get the stones to get to track the progress and turn in the quest. So the whole quest is you get to turn in four stones level 2 stones um, for four different grind areas. So that's basically saying 2,000 monsters in four different areas, so 8,000 mobs killed total for this quest. And I have reason to believe that this is the last quest, like I said, I think the, the, the actual last stone you get is pretty much a freebie, I'm not too sure, it might just be talking to people. But this is going to take some time, and I'm probably going to do this in the next part. So after I buy these stones, I'm going to call this part done, and the third part will just be whenever I actually get around to killing 8,000 mobs. So, you definitely want number two, the the more harder one of course, this is twice the amount of mobs, but probably twice if not more experience for the mobs. So it's 500 each and you'll need four per area. So we're going to need four Bashams, and these do cost 110k each, but we got two mil from the quest already, so we're going to buy one. Uh, not enough money, I didn't click the right one. Two, three, four. Also need Kadri, Naga, and Fogan. So, it's literally just the first four on the right. And that is a lot of stones that I have to take care of. So, when we get back, I'm gonna pretty much meet you guys at each area, kill literally 2,000 of each mob, and then turn them in, hopefully, for the grand prize of this becoming Pen. But, for now, I will get it to try or if that's how it works, I'm assuming it should be 100% success, every enhancement, and they give you the stones, so Pry has one more monster damage, duo, and then try. Very nice. So now it's up to 9 monster damage, plus the 1 AP, plus 3 accuracy. Pretty, pretty nice, honestly. So let's go for 10 pen the next episode and get this over with.